getting up this morning, yeah, I looked and I said, freedom, thank you. And it never felt so good to go back to work today. Eric Morin was able to drive in and out of his neighborhood for the first time since last Monday, when the floodwaters washed out the only bridge in. The city hired a contractor who worked with MassDOT to build a temporary road. It'll be paved soon, and that bridge will now be replaced sooner than later. There's only so much we can do, and I don't really have the tools for it, you know. Over on Burridge Ave, we checked in on Anthony Courteau and family, who saw nearly three feet of water flood their finished basement. They've since filled two dumpsters, ripping out the walls and flooring, trying to prevent black mold. That whole basement is gone. It's probably like $30,000 worth of damage. And your insurance has not been helpful, you said? No, I'm going to call them Monday again and harass them at this point. I mean, I don't know what else to do. The city has set up dumpsters for flood-ravaged debris on Priest Street across from Doyle Field. Several roads have now been reopened, but Pleasant Street isn't one of them. You remember that huge sinkhole there. Gas lines have now been relayed, but a new culvert will have to be built because the raging floodwater destroyed the old one. And by the way, this house on the corner has officially been condemned now. Meanwhile, over at the high rise on Main Street, residents were relocated to a hotel or to stay with family. A generator had been providing temporary power, but the mayor says the electrical system here needs a bigger fix. Everyone's been working there around the clock, so, uh, you know, we're hoping next week, fingers crossed, we're hoping next week we can get them back inside the building. Okay, cool. And we now know about 200 homes and businesses uh, were damaged by the floodwaters, and many owners are not getting good news from their insurance companies. The mayor says the plan is to bring MEMA in here to help residents apply for funding to help cover their losses. Uh, that should happen sometime this week. We're in Lemonster. I'm Mary Salata, WCVB News Center 5.